Um, I'm happy, really happy to be here, and I want to thank um, Suresh Mystery um, for being here for this opening. And uh, we had a really quick conversation before this all started, and I asked him where he lived, and he said, out of my suitcase, and then he explained. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> but uh, it's, I'm glad out of your suitcase brought you here today, and it's, it's a really important event, obviously, for the company. And we're happy to have Sodesco here for the last 30 years, and we hope to have them here for even longer in the future. And I am sorry that Lieutenant Miller, Governor Miller couldn't be here today, but obviously there are other things that are pressing on everybody. Um, this is exciting for Montgomery County. It's a major project that we're happy to see completed here. And it is coming to one of the most vibrant parts of Montgomery County, landing in Pike and Rose District. When you think of the things that are planned here, this is likely to be the home of our next life sciences center. And you can already see many of the projects on the west side of 355 already turned into life science projects. Um, the Institute for Health Computing, which is another big deal, is occupying 30,000 square feet over off of Executive Boulevard. And that's something that Sodexa might actually find interesting because their goal is to help economic development, not just in health computing, but I do understand you're in medical devices now as well. You may find that interesting but also in terms of the use of AI for business purposes. And so they're a, they're a welcome neighbor, but they're also eager to help and be part of the ecosystem that's in Montgomery County. And their long-term goal is to build the building by the University of Maryland on top of the metro station that will house them in an expanded form, as well as companies that want to come with them. So as you can see, the plans for this area are pretty significant. And the Pike and Rose area is going to become, I think, one of the major centers, if not the major center of economic development in the county over time. And so I'm very optimistic about that. And you, you're obviously, you're in a county with a highly educated and diverse workforce. Um, it gives you access to people from many different cultures and lots of skill sets. And I know that's really important. You've worked with many contractors and you operate over 700 plus sites, which is in the region which is not a small thing in over 5,000 Sodexo employees. But I want to point something out. You know, a lot of people ask us why, you know, why we do things with corporations and why Montgomery County participated, particularly in helping uh, Sodexo relocate here. So this is some of their workforce initiative partners. Bridges School to Work, Ethiopian Community Development Council, FutureLink, which serves marginalized groups in Montgomery County, International Rescue Committee serving people with disabilities in Baltimore and Silver Spring, Jewish Social Service Agency, we all know their activity already in the county, Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Services, World Relief, Work Opportunities Unlimited. And I found this other interesting list, other groups they work with, Alliance Stand Hunger, Armed Services YMCA, Congressional Hunger Center, DC Central Kitchen, Feed the Fridge, Food Recovery Network, you already mentioned MANA, which is a homegrown institution. Metro DC Hispanic Contractors Community, Montgomery County Business Leaders Fighting Hunger, Share Our Strength Foundation, Together We Bake, Youth Service America. That's a pretty long list of people that Sodexo, Sodexo is engaged with in Montgomery County. And you can be sure that they give back as better than they get. This, this deal and this arrangement with their history of engagement with our community, helps ensure that their presence here will continue to be a presence that not only builds their business and helps their employees, but helps the community as a whole. And it's great to have a partner at all levels of presence in Montgomery County, not just as a business partner, but as a community partner as well. So I want to thank you for this opportunity to speak this morning. I want to recognize the work you've done in our community and I look forward to partnering with you and introducing you to some of the folks across the street. When the time comes, so you can see what kind of things we might be able to add to your mix that make you even more successful. So thank you all very much.